Over the last two years, the United Sorghum Checkoff has put a lot of resources into sugarcane aphid management. We've funded numerous studies across the U.S. Uh, looking at sugarcane aphid. Uh, various, various research topics have been covered. And then we've also put together a lot of information just from an educational standpoint. This is going to be a series of seven, seven videos where we're highlighting different topics for sugarcane aphid management. Uh, this particular video will cover when to apply insecticide. Determining when to, to use an insecticide really begins with a good scouting program. So as soon as you see sugarcane aphid or you, you, you realize that sugarcane aphid is in your region or in your county, uh, start scouting your individual fields weekly. The first sign of sugarcane aphid may be just isolated spots where you may see a little bit of honeydew on some of the leaves or just some very small colonies where you just have a few aphids uh, on a leaf. Once you discover uh, in your field uh, that you do have the, the aphid, then you need to go back to that field really twice a week. And the reason for that is the aphid can just explode very quickly and you need to really be on top of that within just two or three days so that if the threshold is reached, you're ready to go and you know you need to, uh, to get that field sprayed. You want to scout in as many areas of the field as possible because these aphids do tend to show up in, in spots in a field, but certainly a minimum of four locations you'll want to check. And the more locations you check, the more accurate you're going to be on your scouting program. In each location in the field that you, uh, that you check, uh, we suggest you check a minimum of 20 plants and you'll want to collect a leaf from the bottom part of the, the plant as well as an upper uh, leaf and then simply observe it for aphids. And, uh, and that's the way you determine if you reach threshold. Once you start scouting a field uh, uh, for the first time early in the season when the aphid is just in the region and you're just looking to see if you've got aphid in the field, it's always helpful to have a magnifying glass with you. That's the best way really to identify that aphid from maybe some other aphids that might be in the field. Uh, also look for the honeydew. If you've got honeydew, in all likelihood you've got uh, sugarcane aphid. You may also see a few of these aphids that have wings on them, and that is actually the sugarcane aphid. And you may see again a few of those uh, because when the aphid first comes in, it comes in on the wind in this wing form, and so that may be what you're seeing. So what is the, the current spray threshold? When do you, you've got aphids in your field and, 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 and what threshold are you looking for? Well, the, all the states and even some of the regions within a state have a little bit different threshold that you're, they're using. I'm showing you an example of three different thresholds and really any of the thresholds, in my opinion, work just fine. Uh, the one that I typically recommend is to spray when you have 25% of the plants are infested with a minimum of 50 aphids per leaf. To me, that's pretty straightforward and uh, uh, it works pretty well. Another uh, method that's used is to spray when the field reaches a level of 50 to 125 aphids per leaf. Okay, so a little bit different from the first one example that I gave you. And the third example is also fairly popular and fairly easy to use. It's spray when you have 20 to 30 percent of the plants infested, and whether it's 20 or 30 percent will depend on the growth stage and then you also have localized areas of, of heavy honeydew and established colonies. Is, so again, any of those thresholds will work, uh, but the key is that you're in there and you're looking and uh, you do treat that field as soon as you reach that threshold level. It's very important that you treat, uh, again, as soon as you reach that threshold level, particularly on the earlier uh, sorghum. In other words, sorghum, it's, uh, it's still in the pre-boot stage or at the flowering stage or even I would say that early milk stage because you can have 100% yield loss in just a, a short period of time at that point. Uh, panicle initiation on this particular slide or flowering, I'm showing 67% uh, yield reduction. Really, I think you can have up to 100% even at that flowering stage if you have a heavy sugarcane in infestation uh, occurring. So. Uh, you just got to be on top of it and scouting and, and then treating when you get to that threshold is very important. The next two slides are, are from some research that actually was done in Georgia, but I could show you data from, from other states that show really the same thing. But it just shows the importance of treating as soon as you get to that threshold. In this particular example, the aphids came in at the boot stage of the sorghum on July 22nd. 
and they reached threshold at that point, 50 and to 125 aphids on July 22nd. When they waited just four days and didn't treat that field again just for four days and that aphid population built up, they had a 90% yield loss uh, if they didn't get in and spray right away. So you can see where it's very critical uh, when that sorghum is not very far along, in this case in the boot stage, that you treat as soon as the threshold is reached. A little bit later in the season, now it's in the milk stage of development, so it's through flowering in the milk stage of development. Not nearly as many as much yield loss when the infestation occurred at milk stage rather than earlier. So in this particular case, uh, when they went to that 50 to 125 aphids and they didn't treat for four days and now the aphid population has built up more, now it's at 300 aphids uh, per leaf. The yield reduction, yeah, it was 25%, which is certainly significant, but it wasn't 90%. So you do have a little bit more, more time to get your application done the later that, uh, that sorghum is in its development stage when the aphids come in. So if we summarize when to apply an insecticide, well it all starts with that good scouting program. Uh, that's going to be critical. Scout once a week to determine if the sugarcane aphid is present in the field. Once it's in your field, then that field should be scouted twice a week. And then as soon as you reach that economic threshold, uh, be prepared and be ready to, to spray or the yield loss can certainly be significant.